Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I used one palette to create this entire makeup look except for the lipstick. <laughs> this is truly a super cool universal palette that can be used for basically anything and I'm confused as to why the entire world is not talking about it. Why not? It's so good. <laughs> so this is the Tarte Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. This one retails for $46 off the Tarte website and it's pretty well a neutral palette with a bunch of different neutral shades in it, except these are multi-use powders and you're not gonna believe it, but I did pretty much everything on my face using this palette. So I've done my brows, I've done my eyeshadows, I've done underneath my eyes, I've set my foundation, I have contoured, I've applied um, a blush kind of looking thing. I did the eyeliner using the palette so multi-use like it's absolutely ridiculous and for 46 dollars, i just think that you can't go wrong now originally i was just going to do a video kind of swatching these and talking about it but i was like no it's going to be a lot more helpful for you guys if i actually run you through exactly how i use all of the colors in this palette um you know the root the full routine that i do um rather than you just sort of watching me harp at you if that makes sense <laughs> so yes if you're interested in seeing me do my entire face using only one palette then please keep on watching i'm actually so excited to finally be filming this so, taking the palette, now, um, as I said before, it's super, super affordable, so it's a really, really good one for those of you who are budget conscious as well. You definitely could totally use these three shades here as powder foundation, but I personally prefer a liquid foundation. I've got acne, I've got oil, i got all the good things in life. But what I do like to do is actually set down my foundation and my concealer or anything else with the powders in this palette. They are really, really beautiful and smooth. They're finely milled. So if I'm going to be using this to set my foundation, I'll normally go into this lighter shade here. This is Solstice and I will use that just under the eye area to kind of help brighten and, you know, kind of use it as a correcting powder. And then I'll sort of typically use the color sand, um, you know, to set the rest of my face. You can use a big fluffy brush if you want. Um, you know, obviously you, you want to be careful not to get it in the shadows on either side, but um, yeah, I find that it gives the skin like a really beautiful finish. It looks beautiful and smooth. It feels beautiful and smooth. Like these powders are amazing for setting down foundation. So yeah, you can definitely use this one however you need to. Like look at the airbrush finish that it gives the skin. Like it's amazing. Obviously if you're a deeper skin tone, you can use any of these to set as well. I'm just going to use Solstice over the lid as well. Before doing any eyeshadow look I always tell people you know set down your eye primer always powder the lids before doing an eyeshadow like you just want to get rid of anything sticky or tacky on there and um, it's quicker with a bigger brush so you kind of just get it done get in get out so yeah <laughs> so next up I'm actually going to do my brows and you can use pretty much any color in this palette depending on what color your brows are or what color your hair color is like I said all of the powders in this you can pretty much use for anything that you want so just take an angle brush and go to town really I typically use this shade here smoke through the uh, sort of inner portion of my brow and then I'll use onyx which is like the black um you know in the tail and on the tip of my brows if I need to but you'll see as I do this they're so pigmented and it's just like, I just think it's so cool to not have to pack like a million different things. You can do your whole face with just this. So there's a brow color in this palette for everyone, like super pale skin. There's, you know, brow colors for blondes. There's brow colors for those of you with really dark hair. Like it's just got absolutely everything. And look at that. I have an eyebrow. Now, because, um, you know, they're a powder, I would always recommend setting your brows with a brow gel after you have filled them in just to, you know, prevent them from getting away from you on the day. Um, yeah, any, any brow gel will do. I will link actually in the description bar for you guys to make it a bit easier. Every color that I used in every different area so that you can, you know, recreate the look if you want. I know that there are a lot of you who watch this channel that have exactly the same skin tone and exactly the same colorings as me. I just think that is so cool. We're like actual sisters. <laughs> okay, moving on to the eyes now. You can pretty much create any kind of eyeshadow look that you want with this palette. You can go super dark and grungy. You can go really soft and light for daytime. It's pretty much personal preference. The great thing about it also is you can use every single shadow, you know, wherever you want it. So you can use these, you know, they obviously look like cheek products and bronzers but you can use them on your eyes if you want and I quite often find myself using this one on the eyes and then you can mix in other colors as you need like it's you can do whatever you want with it basically it's what I'm getting at so I'm gonna start out by taking journey which is like the pinky kind of mushroom color and I'm gonna work that one through the crease the formula of these mattes is just out of this world they're so buttery they're so creamy they feel just they feel like velvet on your eyes. They're amazing. I feel like a lot of people are going to be like, yeah, sponsored by Tarte. I promise you guys, I'm not. I just love this palette so much. I really think it's worth every dollar that you pay for it. It's a great Christmas present as well. I know Christmas is coming up. 
buy it for yourself. Buy yourself a Christmas present, girl. Yeah. So I've worked that one through the crease. And then over that, I'm going to take Desert, which is sort of like the middle kind of contoury shade. And I'm going to work that one just sort of over the top and a little bit more in that direct crease just to sort of deepen things up. Okay, taking a smaller blending brush, I'm going into Ember now. This is a really beautiful sort of warm, medium brown. It's so nice. I'm going to start to blend that one sort of in the outer corner and drag it across the crease. Just going to do like a really neutral brown smoky eye. You can pick the colors up on your fingers too and, you know. I mean, I don't need to tell you this. This is, this is obvious. You guys know this. But I thought it would be helpful to kind of see how, like exactly how I use it. Like rather than me just sitting here preaching to you, I thought it might help more. Cool thing about it too is you can do warm tone and cool tone looks depending on what shadows you choose. Um, yeah, I've done both with this. All right, moving on, I'm actually going to create a bit of a winged eyeliner um, using the same palette as well. I'm just taking a small angle brush. I'm going to spray it with Fix Plus, but you could just dip it in water or you could even use it dry if you wanted. Now, again, you can choose whatever color you want for this. I'm going to go into Onyx, the black color. I pick it up on the brush and then I sort of put it on the back of my hand. Then you apply it just how you would any other kind of gel eyeliner with a brush. The powder mixes in really nice with water and it just it creates this like really kind of black sort of eyeliner texture. I like how this gives more of like a smoky kind of lived in look as well. I typically do that with my eyeshadow anyway, like I'll kind of smudge out the edges. But if you do it this way, you don't even have to. So I've sort of smoked that across the top of the eyelid, keeping it super close to the lashes. I don't have huge eyes, so I can't really get away with, you know, like eyeliner that goes all the way up here. And then I'm just going to start creating a wing. Okay, so that escalated really quickly. And here I am now with huge ass eyeliner wings. I'm not mad about it. I'm just taking um, the darkest sort of bronzer contour color now. And I'm just sort of making it all a little bit darker because I've already committed with the wings. So might as well continue, right? Okay, so now that this is done, I'm going to chuck on some mascara and some lashes and then we'll be back to work on the rest of the face. Okay, lashes and mascara are on. Definitely have ended up with a much more dramatic eyeshadow look than I intended. Happens like every time. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to move on to doing my cheeks now. And I pretty well remember when I first opened this palette, I was like, oh my goodness, these are way too light. I'm never going to be able to use them on my skin tone. Yeah, I couldn't have been more wrong about this. They look really, um, you know, sort of light in the pan. But once they're on the cheeks, they're actually really pigmented and quite a bit darker. So I'm picking up terracotta. I'm going to use this color to sort of sculpt out my cheeks and add warmth to my face. Now, because we're doing our whole face with this palette, I'm actually not going to be doing any blush today. I'm going to be using, um, you know, these sort of brownie kinds of colors to add, you know, depth and definition and sort of warm up my face. So as you can see, I'm sort of dragging this one kind of up and over where I would normally apply a blush. And see how it's giving my cheek like giving it that warmth and it pretty much looks like I've applied a blush anyway. This color is definitely so much darker on the face than it is in the pan but it really does double as like a blush bronzer kind of duo. And then to finish I'm going to take Desert which is the middle contour and I'm actually just going to use that um, just a very small amount on the brush because again it's extremely pigmented but I'm going to use that just to kind of carve the bottom of my cheekbone out. See how that's added like an extra bit of darkness there? just to kind of give extra definition and it makes it look like you've contoured and then applied a blush. And then back into the palette, I'm going to pick up Instinct just on a sort of tapered brush. Now this is the one that's got a very small amount of shimmer in it. And I'm just going to apply that to the tops of my cheekbones. This will give you a very subtle glow. This is not going to be like blinding highlight, but at the same time, definitely works. It's really pretty and natural which a lot of people like prefer anyway, so it could be perfect for you. Now, obviously there is no lipstick in this palette, so I'm just gonna pop on some lipstick. I'm using Mile High by Gerard Cosmetics. If you are interested in getting anything from them, you can use the coupon code JOY, it'll get you 30% off. Oh, this color's amazing. And there you have it, guys, a full look using only the Tarte Clay Play Shaping Palette. Why do they need such long names? I cannot deal. <laughs> I hope that you guys found this video really helpful. As I said, I thought it would be easier and would make more sense if I showed you exactly how I use the palette rather than me just sitting here being like, you need to buy this palette. It's awesome. So yeah, I hope it helped. <laughs> I love you all so much and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.